Welcome to your reading for October, Scorpios. Of course, you are Maleficent or Magnificent. Depends who you ask, right? Because Scorpios can go either way. Depends how much you will put on them. How much you leave them out right because they're a part of na nature a force to be reckoned with all on their own right and if we so choose to we can go to the dark side too or if we are treated badly a wonderful idea the aha moment so that moment when you realise that they've taken you for granted. Fuck work pumpkin it is. That's card 39. And we have which at the end of the world, an important end and a new beginning. So... That moment, you realise it's the end and there's nothing more that can be done. You can transform and transcend if you want to. We are powerful on the good side and powerful on the bad side too. This is why we have so many cross watchers saying that Scorpio is evil. That Scorpio is evil, right? But they're kind of going to have a moment where they realise, aha, um, maybe it wasn't all the Scorpio. The end, the wake up from a Scorpio. It's time. Pick a side. Good or bad, you'll do well on either one, right, Scorpio? Snow Angels. The signs are already with you. Which way will you go? Let's see. Let's see which way the Scorpio will go during their solar return. So we have the Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You can choose to focus on money, focus on commitment or um, you might find if you're cross watching for a uh, Scorpio, they're indecisive about commitment. Going all in on somebody again in this moment. Um, they're indecisive right now. They don't have the answers for you. Um, I don't think they're in two minds about making an offer to you. If the Scorpio has to make the offer to you, they're in two minds about accepting this offer. It's kind of like, you know what, I gave what I gave and it was what it was. That's that aha moment. Now, there's an opportunity for commitment or an opportunity for money coming in. You may have waited a whole year for this offer to come in and this is why now we see, eh, am I really that interested in this offer anymore? Thing is about a Scorpio, they will wait for people. But when their time's up, it's up. It's just how it is. And here, I see them in two minds about you if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio. Scorpio, if you've been worried about money and wondering where it'll come from, it's going to come to you now in a huge sum of money. For those Scorpios that have been doing the work, right? Six of Wands, victory, success, overcoming spiritual lessons, finally being seen. Like I said, they finally have that moment where they say, oh. And here it's like, every time I look at this card, reminds me of Rihanna. 
you know I dealt with you the nicest because ask anybody else they may feel like wow she was so nice to you or he was so nice to you they were usually so bad and so evil but it's how the Scorpio is treated right they'll put up with things for a long time they will love you for a long time and then when it's just this the Sun when they are this Phoenix rising when all is healed and they have that clarity ah, good luck on getting them back no matter what you offer them doesn't seem like money will be able to tempt them doesn't seem like you taking notice and you trying to talk them around telling them your thoughts doesn't seem to help here because they already dealt with you the nicest and they've gone from three swords to two swords did they ever really love me and you're like sure I did I just took me a while to see it now I realize Nine of Pentacles. Now, they choose to be alone now. It's just what they're choosing here. Personal growth. Nine is related to the Hermit. They're choosing to grow independently from you. Maybe even focus on work towards that Ten Pentacle here. So, I guess that's why we can say, you know, the Scorpio, they never gave me a chance. They never listened. They did. They can even put you in this false sense of security because they keep allowing people to do certain things, right? And then when they do it for the last time, it's kind of like we expect people to be mind readers as Scorpios. And we can leave people confused, like, what, I did, what did I do? And we're like, work it out for yourself. Nine of Pentacles. Work it out, grow yourself here. You'll find yourself as a phoenix. This is what a Scorpio will try and help you to do. They'll try and help you to work through and become a phoenix. I mean, whether it happens with everybody is a different story, but that's kind of what they try. Try to enlighten with the sun. And they're just marching off now into the sun with the six of wands. Not knowing what's going on here. Page of pentacles. Could be a younger earth sign here or a Leo. Um, again, now what you're offering with the page of pentacles or what's being offered to you. It's not big enough. And there's going to be nothing that you can offer here because they're their whole 10 pentacles by themselves. They didn't need you. They always loved you and wanted you and waited for you to realize that. And I guess they dragged you on a journey to teach you something with the page of pentacles. Um, but it seems like you've hit a learning curve and there's much here for you to learn from this Scorpio or as a Scorpio here, a younger earth sign, a Leo could have dragged you into um, something that had you questioning yourself, your self-worth even. But it was like a, a step up here to teach you to be a better version of you. So we go from Ash to Scorpio to Phoenix and you're one of them, right? You'll know it's individual to yourself. But you're now taking what you learned with the Page of Pentacles because you've overcome this spiritual lesson. So you know your worth, you know your value, you're starting to work for yourself independently here. You're having great money opportunities coming in with the sun. A lot of positive energy coming in because it's a Scorpio solar return. 
that we're heading towards in October, the second half of October here. So if this person, Scorpio, has not spoke to you in over a year or something, we see them reaching out with small talk because they realize now that you're the one. They realize you was magnificent. strength card yeah you remain in strength integrity dignity poise um, because you found that power within that strength within you had to start from ash again but you're now getting there you're in the next level here you're on a new playing field you're looking for new players i hope not players again indication of that leo and another earth sign could be a, th a third party situation that you had to learn from and overcome and gain strength and learn to nurture yourself in all kinds of way Nurture your soul, nurture your body, nurture your mind. And that's what you've been doing, Scorpio, at least a year. Some two years, some six years. But the very minimum, this has been happening for a year. And you're now the Queen of Pentacles. You're now trying to be the boss of your own business and be empowered and nurtured and healthy and grounded. You're trying to be the best you can be. And remember why Maleficent is that way. What she is, is nature. Right? We can't hide from nature. It's exactly like Scorpio the Death card. We can't hide from change. And certainly when left out and pushed out and cast out, we definitely can become an evil force, the high priestess. You're always a high priestess, whether you are good or bad. Now, the way people treat you determines whether you're good or bad. And like I see with this snow angel here, the signs are with you. Trust with the high priestess, your intuition. And your intuition is like, boy, if you come to my house again, the, the only thing you want to say is, you know, right? And they say, I know. And you're like, okay. So leave it at that. High priestess, this could be a Pisces coming towards you. Ten of swords, the worst of it is over, Scorpio. Like I said, it's been going on years. So now the worst of it is over. This positive energy is flowing in for you here. In the 10th month, we see changes, transformations. Um, somebody wanting to communicate. Um, and somebody might communicate that it's done. It's over for good here. You might feel betrayed. Or if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, you might feel betrayed. Whatever that is, it's gone. There's no bringing back to life this situation once the Scorpio is over it. I know it sounds unfair, but the Scorpio dealt with you nicer than anybody else. So if they treated you bad, imagine how badly they treated other people. And I'm not making excuses for them, each to their own. <laughs> 